cold outside But the fire keeps us warm We can spend the night Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present That I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for you and me The snow is falling down Are you okay? Hey guys, welcome back to another day in the life of a mom of two. So today I decided to take Amir to Panera Bread. So we had ordered the flatbread, which is like the chicken chipotle bread, but I said instead of the chipotle sauce, I told them to add tomato sauce. It's so good, you guys. Look at that. Mmm. So be. good. Mm. You like it? <coughs> yeah. He said he likes it. I don't like taking him to get fast food. I didn't go grocery shopping for anything, so I figure if we go to Panera, it's not so bad because it's not like really fast food. But this is good, you guys. I gotta make this at home. But anyways, comment below how you guys' day has been, how's motherhood today. So anyways, guys, I don't know what we're gonna do after this. Stay tuned for this day in the life of a mom of two, okay? And also subscribe to our channel. Yeah, and subscribe. Give, and give mom a big thumbs up and give her a like. Please. <laughs> she really hopes you Bye, guys. We are going to enjoy our lunch and have quality time. By the way, this is nice that I get to like spend quality time with Amir because I usually have the baby and I try to squeeze in that time with him too. So it's nice that the baby is sweet. So, yeah. Alright, guys. So we decided to come to Walmart and... I kind of want to get some more Christmas crafts because I am the corny type of mom that likes to like do, sorry, <clears throat> holiday crafts. So you guys, they got this Ooh. Oreo gingerbread house. Ooh, ginger. We already did a, a house though. We got this right here. We got a Christmas tree. You could get this too. Reese's. Mm. They got, they got different gingerbread things. That's cool. Look, Amir. Amir, look. Yo, I'm literally so overwhelmed. Like, I don't even know what to get. Like, I've never done homemade Christmas baking before, but I really want to do something quick and easy. Hey guys, so we have made it back home. Oh my goodness, I'm still tired from this morning. That's why I'm saying God is with me because. Sometimes I'm like, how am I even functioning after getting like two, three hours of sleep? Like, so I'm about to do a haul. This is an outfit for baby boy. He wears like three to six months now. Just a simple outfit for church tomorrow with a little hat. You know, it is winter time. I got it for on clearance. This was $3, which I better have paid the clearance price because Walmart be playing. Walmart. Walmart really be plant playing about their their stuff. I used to work at Walmart. People would be like, "This was be two dollars," and it would ring up for like the the regular price. It's like Walmart be playing games. Then I have these socks, um, really cute neutral blue colors, tan colors. I love them. They're gonna look super cute with this, y'all. This sweater for a mirror. This was twelve ninety seven. Not bad for a sweater. He loves Minecraft, and it's like tie-dye we have this one he loves Mario now Miles Morales sweater for him super cute super uber duper cute and we have this in the back super cute $12.97 as well we gotta decorate the cookies so I got some of this Funfetti vanilla frosting with the sprinkles and then I got some sugar cookies, which I need to put in the refrigerator. Like, I was so tired, you guys. I just threw all the bags on the floor and just plopped down on the couch, changed the baby's diaper, and I don't know what else happened from there, you guys. <laughs> just know I didn't get no sleep. Hey, guys. So it's a couple days after we went to uh, Panera Bread. But that was actually a really good day. I feel like with motherhood, you have your hard days and you have your really good days. But... Every day is a blessing, you know what I'm saying? But you guys, so I'm at church, I'm in the nursery feeding the baby. 
You know guys, I almost gave up on homeschooling and God told me, look, when things get hard, remember what you stand for. Don't give up because God's going to see you through. And I don't know who needs to hear that. Or don't forget, I think I was just having a hard day a couple of days ago. I called my husband a couple of days ago when I was having a hard day. Um, we started talking about public school. We was like, well, we know for sure we don't want to put him in public school. We just wanted to see like if we call one, how it would be. He called a public school. And they said they don't teach anything too crazy, but they really um, are like really structured and intense on like them learning. I think just certain things they're teaching in the public schools is just kids shouldn't be learning. Like the school system is really messed up right now. So I'm definitely not going to give up. I'm going to keep homeschooling. If other moms could do it, I could do it. What was that Bible verse? No temptation will overtake you. Um, that is common to mankind. So yeah, you guys, when things get hard, just do not give up. After church, we're actually gonna go to Target to get the baby a sleep sack because he will not sleep in his crib with a onesie or pajamas. Like, he needs a sleep sack. He likes to feel like the cuddling sensation because lately I've just been sleeping, sitting up, and um, he's been sleeping kind of like flat on me, but um, like on and off. But I make sure there's no blankets around and I'm, I'm a still sleeper I'm like I'm really still so but I rather put them in the crib you know most times I actually want to go take you guys to the store with me when I buy the uh, sleep sack just in case you guys want one for your kids I'll catch you guys later We just left church church was lovely god is always doing something amazing okay so basically i didn't really get to enjoy the word today really because i was in and out with the baby but um i did get to go for prayer and you know i fellowshiped and it was nice i had to go to target to get the baby a sleep sack because it's getting to the point where i'm losing sleep like i'm not able to sleep because he just wants to be coddled by me he wants to feel my touch so um i went in there and i paid 29.99 for this the sleep sack it sleep swaddle um, right now he's 14 pounds and it says it takes up to um, it takes three to six months and it take it takes it takes three to six months and it takes um what is it 12 what does that say 13 to 18 pounds so I think he has ways to go I'm excited to have this I hope it works because I cannot lose no more sleep you guys I am a homeschool mom okay I can't lose sleep um but yeah you guys so I like the material I did open it before I bought it you guys I had to because this is expensive you guys $29 so yeah you guys remember what I said when things get hard remember what you stand for that's what God told me when things get hard don't forget what you stand for don't fold okay <laughs> <laughs> but thank y'all so much for watching this uh day in the life of a mom of two um i know this was a weird vlog but yeah like comment subscribe if you love my vibes stay encouraging the lord till the next video bye